Welcome back to my Noob to Pro series, folks. If you are new to this series, this commentary has been added post-recording, and here, I'm documenting my journey from an absolute beginner to an experienced player. Currently, there are two tech trees which I'm grinding, the Israel tech tree with the Kfir Canard, and the USA tech tree with the F20A. If this is your first video, I highly encourage you to start from video number one. I share all of my mistakes and lessons learned in each video. And since video number 9, I introduce the plane cards where I give a short description on a plane I battle against in the current battle rank. As always, if you have any tips or suggestions on how I could approve my gameplay or this series, please share them in the comments below. I read and respond to each and every comment in the comments section, and any kind of feedback is highly appreciated. I wanted to try speeding up the initial traveling to the battleground and any slow parts of the video. So please let me know if this is something you'd enjoy seeing more of in the future. Playing with the Kfir Canard and focusing on my missile skills is paying off greatly with the F-20A. I think my timing has improved a lot, and I also switched one of the AIM-7F missiles for two AIM-9L missiles. So instead of four missiles in total, I now have five. In today's playing card, we'll be covering a plane from the French tech tree, the Mirage F-1C. The Mirage F-1C has relatively mediocre flight performance. It is able to pull high G maneuvers at high speeds, but the airframe is not suited for high angle of attack maneuvers. However, the wing design does allow the Mirage F-1C to retain energy relatively well. Considering the poor top speed and maneuverability of the Mirage F-1C, it doesn't stand much chance in duels against most enemies, even against up-tiered fighters. The armament is nothing special. You do have access to two Matra Magic 2 air-to-air -air missiles that are very hard to flare since they use infrared counter-counter measures. However, the other missiles may seem mediocre for a top-tier jet. A cheeky attempt for stealing the point or just getting an assist. The game's the game, folks. We gotta get those points somehow. I've gotten really proficient with the use of the radar. I've grown to almost depend on it, it's such a useful tool, especially for the aim guide. Looking back on this video, I could have locked onto the plane by changing the search mode of the radar. I do start using this function more in the future, and it's especially useful to lock onto the plane while dogfighting.
That cheeky missile stole this point from me. If you take a look at the on-screen keyboard notifications, you will notice that they are bugged out. This is the reason why I'll be bringing back the on-screen keyboard in addition to the notifications. It seems the notifications have a tendency to glitch out after some multiple key presses, and it keeps registering the key as pressed even though it's not. The mistake which led to my downfall is not keeping to the ground. I mistakenly assumed that the enemy wouldn't have any missiles left and that I could gun them down. However, they had the upper hand. Thank you all for watching. Please consider leaving a like if you enjoy this series so far. Subscribe to be in the loop about new videos, and as always, comments with any tips on how to improve are always appreciated. See you all next time.